Hey guys, how you doing? Shano here. Uh, I got a little problem. It's not a big problem, just a little problem. Something I think, uh, I think I have just the perfect solution to. As you can tell, I'm in my son's room. Mm, no, I'm sorry guys, this, this isn't my bed. This is my son's bed. He's six years old, and every single time I come in his room, I, I hear this noise. I hear a ding, 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 ding. And I, I, I can't ever figure it out, and I just finally figured it out. I know what it is. Maybe you guys have this problem too. <clears throat> Your kids leave their headset on their keyboard and then you get something that looks like this. And they've entered in so many characters that it starts to ding from the headphones because they're sitting on the keyboard. So I think I got the perfect solution to this. Let's go downstairs. Let's fire up the computer. Let's, uh, Let's jump on a website called Thingiverse and uh, see if we can find something to fix this issue. Catch you downstairs. Okay, guys, we're back. We're downstairs. We've got the computer all fired up, and we've got Thingiverse open. Um, you should be familiar with Thingiverse. If you're not, Thingiverse is a community-based website of uh, STL files that people have created, or uh, not even STL, OBJ, um, you know, any really CAD or 3D file or modeling file um, that people have created and they want to share with the community. So it's a great website. I absolutely love it. I get most of my ideas from this website. Um, you can take the files, you can modify them, you can edit them, you can make them your own, and you can print it and enjoy it. It's a great website, uh, very easy to navigate, very cool, very awesome, uh, totally worth your time and effort to go and check it out. So, uh, real quick, we obviously know what we're looking for. We want something for headphones. So it's as simple as typing in headphones in the search, giving a little enter button there, and uh, see what we come up with. So there is an endless amount of things for headphones. Anything from headphone stands, full headphone stands, to, uh, let's see, little things to coil up your headphones. Um, USB cords. I don't know how that one got in there, but hey, we'll go with that. Uh, things that say headset. Pretty neat. Uh, what else? What else? Let's see here. We need just the perfect one. Oh, I like this one. So I think this is the one we're going to go with. I think it's a great design. It will fit on his desk. Um, it will hold his headphones. It will keep them off his keyboard, hopefully. Uh, I like that it's got these ovals cut out of it, so it takes out some of the material. Um, so we're going to save on material cost to print this and print time as well. Obviously, if you don't have to print that material, you don't have to wait for it to be printed. Pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right here where it says download this thing. And it's going to download desktopheadphones.zip. Now, you can also click here where it says thing files. And if this, um, if this design had more than one file attached to it, they would all show here. And you could select which file you want, or you can just download all of the files. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. We're going to drag this file over to our desktop right here. I already have it there, but... And we're going to open it up. I'm going to use Simplify 3D, and uh, we're going to use that to slice it into G-code. So now that we have it into Simplify 3D, I want to point out that if we were to print it like this, where it's standing up, we may have issues with this gap right in here, where it is going to go from the right side to the left side into the center. So that might not be the best way we want to print this file. So we can easily just go here, we can change the orientation, we're going to center it and arrange, and I think that's going to give us the best way to print this file. These ovals are smaller than this oval, or this design, this circumference is smaller, so it will be easier for it to fill that gap than to fill that gap. So. We're going to send this over to the Ultimaker. We're going to slice this. We're going to send it over to the Ultimaker. We're going to get it printing. And we'll do a quick little time lapse of it. So we'll catch you over there, guys.
Hey guys, we're back. That was an awesome time lapse. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. I absolutely love the Ultimaker. The Ultimaker does a great job on prints. High quality, high speed. Um, I love it. One of the best printers I've ever had. So, we're back in uh, my son's room. And uh, I guess our problem is solved. I don't know if you guys can see this. The lighting's not the greatest. But those are his headphones on a very nice 3D printed headphone stand. So, you know, obviously kids listen to what their parents tell them. So, of course, he'll put them on it every single time. <laughs> Highly doubt it. But, hey, what can you do? At least I feel better now that he has a place to put his headphones. And uh, they won't be on his keyboard punching in keys, giving his computer all kinds of dinging noises. Well, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciated the video. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you want to see more like that, let me know in the comments. Um, I like finding little issues around my house and things that I can fix and uh, put my printers to good use. As always, guys, thank you. And uh, give me a like, give me a click, maybe even subscribe. We'll catch you on the other side.